بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم সম্মানিত প্রিয় দর্শক মণ্ডলী আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতু সাদর আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি আপনাদের সবাইকে যে যেখান থেকে বসে আজকের বিশেষ চ্যারিটি ইন প্রোগ্রেস অনুষ্ঠানটি দেখছেন আশা করছি আপনারা সবাই ভালো আছেন এবং আপনাদের ভালো থাকার প্রত্যাশা আমাদের সব সময়ের জন্য আই থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ টু অল অফ দোজ হু হ্যাভ জয়েন উইথ আস থ্রু আওয়ার লাইভ ফেসবুক পেজ এন্ড ইনশাআল্লাহ দিস প্রোগ্রাম উইল অলসো বি রিপিটেড অন দ্য ফলোইং ডে এন্ড ইউ ক্যান অলসো ওয়াচ আস লেটার অন অন আওয়ার ইউটিউব চ্যানেল Uh, tonight's organization, it's a very well-known, a very reputable organization. And you, my dear viewers, throughout the last more than a decade have been supporting it through your generous donation, through assistance, through your various, whether it be morally, socially, financially, whatever support you have provided, alhamdulillah, we've seen this organization have come this far. We're talking about East London Mosque and London Muslim Center. We'll try and find out from them what, how last year has been and what is the plan in future and we'll try and find out in this ramadan they will be joining us again so what their plan is what are they going to look for and how are you as audience going to engage and participate with this project but before i discuss any further the formalities must be pre uh, proceeded with we have been joined with our esteemed guests who are part of this noble project which is east london mosque and london muslim center and i'll introduce from my right i have a very brand new face he is in fact the ceo of east london mosque and london muslim center janab nazmul hussein on his right we have got a very well known face he is the chairman of east london mosque and london muslim center janab habib ur rahman and on my left we have got janab ayub khan who is the secretary of east london mosque and london muslim center and uh, towards my left far left we have a very well known face who is the head imam and khatib of the east london mosque and london muslim center we're talking about fadilat al sheikh abdul qayyum assalamu alaikum to all of you and uh, thank you very much for joining with us now let me start with you uh, janab najmul hussein you are the brand new face many people might not be familiar with you mm -hmm. and you've been joined i believe as a ceo mm -hmm. of this uh, east london mosque and london yes. muslim center now my first question to you would be why this project why east london mosque why i've been selected here why i've chosen to come here um <laughs> the selection you can actually trust we'll no about doubt the later, later on, on. Why have you chosen to join very east much london so mosque? um I've actually my history comes is a staggered history. Um one part of me is from Birmingham I and see. another part of me is actually from East London. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of my life actually been spent in East London. I actually grew up in East London in Shoreditch. How did you move to Birmingham? Then? Um long story. It was okay. uh, again work related. I see. Um I moved out from London uh 13 years ago. I see. Uh through work transfer and then this job opportunity came out and uh, lo and behold it was Allah's will and back. i decided to return now i'm here but family's not i see <laughs> i'm I commuting see. still so <laughs> i'm here i'm here monday to friday and over the weekend i'm back in birmingham um but the reason why i actually decided uh to take up this opportunity um when it was offered to me was that is our mosque is unique uh the the name slightly is is um not quite correct you know it's not east london mosque it's the mosque of the uk nice. the mosque of london and it's not a mosque just around the corner some uh, people in the past referred to it as the white chapel mosque mm -hmm. it's not um in terms of what it stands for for the bangladeshi community and also for the muslim community it's the mosque that we can feel proud of it's the mosque that we can feel at associated with and i feel associated with this masjid and hence why i decided to come so how do i get associated as a youth i hardly came to this masjid okay but over time um in from my college uh, university uh, years onward i became associated with the services that it provided the brotherhood the feeling of warmth and love and caring uh, and sharing uh, was something that attracted me to this masjid and i've been involved with it ever since i see thank you very much for letting us know i mean for many that will be a completely new phase but uh, mm. i must congratulate you for your new position thank you but inshallah i'm pretty much sure you will be uh, successful inshallah, inshallah and we'll find out more i'll come inshallah. back to you but before that i'll need to move on to our next guest who is the chairman of the islam the mosque and the london muslim center now you are the chairman of the mosque now my first question to you would be uh, alhamdulillah you've been with us in channel s last year and um, inshallah you'll be joining us again um this year sure. now how was <coughs> last year for you we're not talking about financial um, element we'll inshallah find out from the secretary itself but as a organization how is it to you or how is it to the organization 2017/2018 assalamu alaikum jazakum khair for the question in this session uh, alhamdulillah 
Um, as you've already uh, outlined, that uh, the Islam and Mosque, alhamdulillah, has a special place uh, in, in people's hearts. Um, each year we try to come to this program and the uh, program in Ramadan to give updates, uh, but also encourage brothers and sisters to be a part and parcel uh, of, uh, of the institution. Um, alhamdulillah, last year, since last year, um, we have continued uh, with the very many activities uh, that has been happening in the, in the, uh, in the mosque and the center. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, that's one of the aspects that the entire community really takes pride in. Um, so I've been involved with the Islam Mosque since the 80s, and I've seen how things have changed and how things have actually grown and expanded uh, in, in, in all respects. And it's really very uh, pleasing to see that every time you walk into the masjid, you get this, uh, you know, vibrancy in the, in the, in the masjid. Um, and uh, it, there's, a, there's a sense of welcoming uh, there. So whether you're a young person, whether you're somebody from a very different community, whether you've never been to uh, London before, or you come here every single day, there is this sense of satisfaction that you get when you come into, into the masjid. So, you know, we have been continuing with uh, uh, the very many range of activities that goes on in, in, in the masjid, alhamdulillah. I'll so, find out more about those activities. Yes. Um, thank you very much, uh, um, and inshallah, I'll come back to you as well. Um, probably the question will be asked by Ayub Khan, our new Chief Minister, the Secretary. I am going to talk about just a few things. I am going to talk about our country specifically. Financial update. We are going to talk about how the Muslim charity is doing. I am going to talk about how the Muslim charity is doing. I can see various events are, are taking place with the Islamic Mosque and the Islamic Muslim Center. Now, we are going to talk about how the donation to the channel is going. I am going to talk about how the update is going. I am going to talk about how the Muslim charity is doing. I am going to talk about Alhamdulillah, the table of his is a mosque that is one of the most busiest mosques. They can have one activities. Hoy among a can am a full time staff race and a one of you know service race. I don't volunteer race. I volunteer race. Though a can is a huge center gula, tinta chata center regular, um, Chalanujan running cost on a day. Amade a quick millionaire budget among it. Alhamdulillah, we are Muslim and we are the set of things that we are going to do. Do you want to say something about the million project annually? Annually. Annually, okay. Three million pounds we are going to do the project. We are going to do the school and we are going to do the million pounds. Annually. Three million pounds budget. So, recently, this is our running cost. Recently, the development of the city, Moriam Center is 9.5 million, and we have the synagogue is 1.5 million. Yes. This is 2 million, 11 million pounds. This is 11 million pounds, and we have 3 million pounds. We have the project completed in the project. We have 3 million pounds, and we have the project completed in the project. Alhamdulillah, we have done the project in the project. We have done the project in the project. गोतबो से प्राय हाफ मिलियन पाउंड कर दिया सना परिषद करें सी। आमादेर जे कर दिया सना सिलो आगे प्राय शारे तीन मिलियन पाउंड गोतबो से। तो अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह इबा भी आम्रा आमादेर टारगेट होच्छे जे एटलिस्ट हाफ मिलियन पाउंड करे आम्रा दे बो। आमादेर इच्छा जे जो दी जो तो तारा तारी शुम्बो बैठा आम्रा � आरोन नोटों सर भी शुरू करा। अशंक को थोड़ा बात। आपने अपने एक टी कथा बोले चंच जो कर देहा सेना आपने रा हाफ ए मिलियन दी दिए चंच। ना जस्ट आमर व्यूअर्स जो ना मैं जानते चाहते हैं इटा की मानोश जोखनी तरा चाबे रिक्वेस्ट कर बापने की तोखनी दिए दिन बाइकन एक टी टाइम लिमिट स्पेशल फंड आसे जब एलोकेटेड फंड आसे जेट खुद यहाँ सना देवर जन्म तो आमादेर अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह सो फार आपने जेट बोल सकते प्राय डेकेड थे के जब हमरा पोषणित सी खुद यहाँ सना को कोनो कोनो शुभिद होय नहीं आलम अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अशोक को धन्ना दामर आबार और इंशाल्लाह आपने काटे आज भो Sheikh Abdul Qayyum, we have a lot of people in the London Muslim Center. Our question is, we have a lot of different kinds of activities in the Islam and Muslim Center. But this question is, we have a lot of people who have seen feedback from the 
why do we have to support an organization continuously? They've got the building, so why do they need our support on a continuous basis? Especially to those audiences that I will be, we've already supported it, you've got the building, now you run it. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa anawala. Building Kora is a proto act of Borod Horonir help lag. Alhamdulillah, the community, our continuous correction. Among Tar Kisu, a course, has an Akono Pek or Baki, I'm sure the Pechi. Actually, the building Holo to Kazolona, building a purpose key with Dusuki. She's a Atulu service, a business curry core service jetta, the Mool Din, Manu Shigbe, dinner business activities, between the classes, between the program. এগুলো আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আপনারা জানেন যে not only লন্ডন বা লোকাল যারা মুসল্লি রয়েছেন মিডিয়ার মাধ্যমে এটা গোটা ইউকে ইউরোপ সমস্ত মহাদেশে বাংলাদেশে সব জায়গা থেকে আল্লাহ তাআলা প্রচুর फायदा নেওয়ার তৌফিক দিয়েছেন এই প্রোগ্রামগুলো রান করার জন্য এবং এই মেইনটেনেন্স কস্ট এ হিউজ সেন্টার পরিচালনার জন্য আপনারা জানেন কোনো সরকারি বরাদ্দ এখানে নেই সম্পূর্ণ পাবলিকের ডোনেশন থেকে চলতে হয় কাজে সার্ভিসগুলোকে চালু রাখার জন্য among a employee, among some of the bill, pay quarter the maintenance cost, it was not a bill budget. I mean, budget is the Amadir Pokre Mani Niomito, it is the Nahoi, that service to Bondo Hedabi. She don't take a Chalu Rakar Sharte, Amadir, a continuous eighteen million pound budget, a demand to Protibosri Amadrach. Oshango Dunla. Now, um, before I move on to my other guest, I'm not going to jump to a board to money. I can East London most of the Kiki um, event by Kiki Apni Kiwi Kiki project at the Juk Totsin. A Kotugula Hotchoze, very Dini core project. That's a Kiso Holoze interfaith take a Surukuri, new Muslim activities take a Surukuri, within a organization Shange, local council body Gula Shange, NHS, Surukuri, various type of cooperation. Mulok program our mother continue kore. The account of the Apni Dini Vishata Jantechan, Alhamdulillah, Madir Jumar Kodba, Apra Janenje, Media Madame, Shoma Samanus Fadavace, Ashudu local Musalinoi, Tarpore Amade Niam with a tough sirma filtering very high, and a huge Puriman Lokakan Asham Shetau, Media Madame Possess at Shama de Putti, Evavikore Putti Shop that put take the Nasur Pore, either Bangla, Othoba English. Niamito, Ericum Classculo, Program Gulroch, Koran, Hadis, Fek, Turkish, Bivin Guru to one subject Gulo. Egular Baire, I'm the young der general program reach, English speaking group at general other program reach, Tarper sister der general program reach, Somalian sister, Somalian brother, Tadder general program reach, Airpore Amadir Kwaikti, weekend Islamic school, evening madrasa, Satrashank all together, I can go to his away. Uh, is around full time 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 the huge number of people among the Jodi apni ekshonge ekra ta jog kore felen tali more than a thousand ebong apni jodi bishesh kore weekend e jan apni ekta room khali paben na kono jaga choto khato khali ache kina kichu korar jonno very true ekhane apni ekta shobdo boleche ekra ate man just to make sure people don't get confused ekhon to ekra onek kichu ache what what is this ekra amader okhane ekta sikha organization achen acha amader shonge onader understanding e bhitti to onara amader room gulo byabohar koren weekend madrasa alimia course acha acha chele je jonno me dile we partner with a number of organizations mm -hmm. to provide services to the community. I see. It's just uh, so, so that so people don't get confused yes, because, Alhamdulillah, we've yes, got yes. a lot of ikras uh, yes. in yes. our yes. community. Yes. Yes. That's true. We should add to it. Yes. 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 Mainly secondary secondary school. Fair enough. And the education provision that we have actually starts from nursery. Nursery, I see. So we, we've got a, a nursery provision, a Rainbow Day nursery, um, looking at three-year-old. I see. Um, then from that you've got Al Mizan, which is a primary school. So from the with five -year -old, Quran. From mm. five, with with uh, Hifz as well. So from five-year-old. Then you've got the secondary school, London East Academy, for eleven plus. I then see. Beyond that, and, and there's so a So various age programs. groups um, catering to different age Weekdays, groups. Weekdays, weekends, weekends, evenings, you name it, we've, we've got all of that. Thank you. Now, I would have asked you this question because now you are the new CEO. Mm -hmm. 
Alhamdulillah, we've seen East London Mosque, we've heard about the synagogue, we've heard about the um, Mariam Center and all of that. Mm -hmm. Now, you are the new CEO. I would, invite, I would like to know, my viewers might be interested in finding out, what's mm -hmm. your vision? Where do you want to take this masjid and mm -hmm. the London Muslim Center? Where do you want to see it now in next five, ten years' time? Certainly. Within the next few minutes. <laughs> See, the masjid, alhamdulillah, as I think the sheikh has already mentioned, we've invested heavily mm. in securing from 2002 to 2014. We secured 21.5 million pound. Sure. Huge amount of money from a very impoverished community. So it's sure. a huge achievement. Um, the reason why we, we actually got all of this was because of the demand. So it's not that we just wanted to be the biggest building or biggest mosque or biggest institute in the, in the country. We wanted to provide a range of services because the demand, and even now with all the big size that we've got, the demand of services is actually uh, beyond what we can supply. So we're looking at how do we use what the facilities that we've got to better provide the range of services that's actually important to the community. So not just providing any old services, it's a masjid at the end of the day. So everything that we do has to relate back to the principles of a masjid. And what we're looking for is services that will have a positive impact in the community, um, like reforming the community where we're going wrong. There are a lot of social issues that we, I'm sure, in your programs you've debated and discussed that is affecting our community. True, indeed. We need to have a center which can respond to that, that understands the community and that also comes from an Islamic principle. And this is what we're actually offering. So it's, it's actually going beyond the masjid, a normal masjid, of praying five times a day. This is actually providing a response to the needs of the community through the range of services that we're going to be doing. So what we're looking for in the next five years, and this is actually the process that we're in at the moment, we've just <laughs> developed a five-year strategy, um, a plan for the, for the Institute, um, which will take us from 2018 to 2023. And in that, we looked at, well, what, what's the need of the community? What are the issues that we need to be providing? This masjid that we have, what ought to it provide? Who do we work with? Because the, the issues is so diverse that as an institution on our own, we can't provide it. And the Sheikh mentioned earlier on, we work with a range of organization. We work with Muslim organization, with the other masajids, and also, more importantly, we work with the public sector. We work with those people who are responsible for providing a range of services, but now, they're not able to respond. Now, what is the importance of working with the public sector? Because a lot of masjids, they don't, um, mm -hmm. we don't see much of participation mm -hmm. or engagement with the public sector. Yeah. Now, how important as CEO to you is to engage as a mosque, engaging in yeah. uh, various public organizations? I've heard so. we've mentioned about NHS and mm -hmm. others, so on and so forth. What's the importance? Yeah, it's very, I mean, my job, two jobs previously, I was partner director for um, a Midlands uh, <coughs> Council. And there I had to work with all public sector organizations, seven of them. So we, we take all the people that use our masjid, the musallis, they're taxpayers. So they, through the taxes, have a right on the public sector bodies to provide them a range of services. A lot of time our people don't actually know about some of these services. They know the basic one, immigration and housing. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> uh, that's all the other, the all, all the other services that they can, they are entitled to. You know, a lot of people don't know if they're working and um, both, per, both partners are actually working. They can get free childcare um, for the child up to the age of 16, you know, mm. after school provision. You know, that's government money. People don't actually know about this because uh, it's not advertised. So basically, there are various fundings available. There are various funding, but, but various services available that they can access directly, and they've got a right to it. Um, so it's not just housing that this country needs to provide. Sorry, the public services in this country need to provide. There's a range of uh, social services, educational services, recreational services, um, with regards to support services. There are a lot of people suffering mental health. Our Sheikh regularly deals with mental health clients, domestic violence, and so forth. There are services out there. So what we're trying to do is look at who do we ha bring in-house, who do we work with from where they're based, and who do we set up new partnerships with mm. to allow our community to better uh, access all of those services. There Ma is a different uh, dimension to this as, as well, because um, one of the things uh, that we have been doing, and our imams have been very active in that, is, is the advice and uh, guidance yes, that we yeah. have to when give. When you say to, the spiritual to, to advice and guidance we're talking it's, about? It's, it's, that it's really orientated. It's, it's, orientated. it's also okay. contextualizing mm. that. It's also being uh, sensitive from an Islamic point of view as well. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of our community may not access these kind of services with the, with the NHS or the local authority because mm. they don't feel that they're com comfortable. Mm. But they would very much like to come and talk to somebody who understands it's on a confidential Islamic, private con confidential okay. so i think mm -hmm. that's also important you're working with these bodies and authorities so they actually understand what these sensitivities mm -hmm. are very and true how they can Absolutely. respond to that and often it can be that it's better best delivered when partnership rather than them, them trying to do it by themselves not understanding mm -hmm. the the sensitivities okay so basically you're telling that it's very important essential for the community mm -hmm. to, uh, to be aware of a lot of uh, mm -hmm. things that are not um, that are available mm -hmm. for them but they might not mm -hmm. be aware mm -hmm. and closely work with professional 
smoke like I've seen um, st um, campaign again I mean about stop the smoking and so on and so forth mm -hmm. we always yeah. continue this right. now we've talked uh, we've heard a word called assessing you assess mm -hmm. I mean as a mosque how how, how does that um, uh, pres um, the formality is put in place how do you assess an organization or an individual are they um, capable enough to be speaker or giving them a platform what sort of method do you use in terms of assessing I mean we take a lot of feedback from our community so what uh, Bernard Will has mentioned about the um, the the strategic plan that we've been developing is that we've been holding lots of um, consultation meetings uh -huh. both with volunteers people who use it on a regular basis but also people who don't come so often so public public meeting me meetings as well so on the uh, range of services that we do so Ramadan is coming up for example True. after last year's Ramadan we took mm. a whole survey of the whole community mm. you know what did they enjoy what did they like what wasn't so good how can we make it uh, be be better in the future so that means mm. there is transparency and accountability There's in transparency things. accountability mm, okay. feedback <laughs> from the community on a regular basis on specific things as well and that enables us to try to make improvements for the future thank you very much I'll come back to you I'm the donation we don't know whether it's been utilized in the correct project they've been told or is it utilized in the way that it's supposed to be utilized I am not to misinformation I'm not sure to John boy I like to Islamic principle I to detail it but from your perspective because you're the secretary of the mosque how would people know that I mean the donation that did see a Takata that's a need that it a project to get Alhamdulillah mother Masjid should do when you the transparent the financial the the one brought on for it on the law এটা চ্যারিটি কমিশনের এখানে তো সব সময় আমরা আমাদের ফাইনান্সিয়াল যে অ্যাকাউন্ট আছে প্রতি বছরই আমরা এটা সাবমিট করে থাকি এবং যে কোনো পাবলিক আমাদের ওইখানে আমাদের অ্যাকাউন্ট দেওয়া আছে ওইখানে গিয়ে তারা দেখতে পারবেন যে কি কি খাতে খরচ হচ্ছে এবং কিভাবে আমরা খরচ করতে মানে যেভাবে যা যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে জি জি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ এবং আমরা প্রতি বছর রমজানে সুযোগ নেই মুসল্লিদেরকে আপডেট দেওয়ার জন্য আচ্ছা এবং ওইখানে আমরা বলি যে ওভারঅল যে ইনকাম এবং এক্সপেন্ডিচারগুলো কীভাবে হয়েছে কি না হয়েছে এবং আমাদের প্রতি বছর যে এজিএম হয় ওইখানে আমরা আমাদের মেম্বারদেরকে যে ইয়ে করি রিপোর্ট দিই ওইখানে দিই এবং আমাদের পাবলিশড অ্যানুয়াল রিপোর্ট আছে যেখানে আমরা মানে ফান্ড ফান্ড রেইজ করতে হচ্ছে এবং কীভাবে খরচ হয়েছে ওইটা আমরা ওইখানে দেখাই সবচেয়ে বড় কথা হলো যে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমাদের ওইখানে পলিসি এবং প্রসিজিয়ার্স আমরা যেগুলো অ্যাডপ্ট করেছি প্রফেশনালি এগুলো আমাদেরকে সব সময় চেক অ্যান্ড ব্যালেন্স করে আর কি যে আমরা কোত্থেকে কীভাবে ফান্ডগুলো আসতেছে এবং কীভাবে আমরা খরচ করতেছি এবং এখানে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ যে আমরা যেভাবে প্রফেশনালি ইয়ে করতেছি যে প্রসিজিয়ারগুলো মেনটেন করতেছি যে এখানে আমি এবং সেক্রেটারি বা চেয়ারম্যান চাইলেই আমরা একটা খরচ করতে পারব না এবং একটা একটা চেক দিতে পারবো না কারণ আমরা জানিও না কোথায় চেক আছে তো এইটা আমাদের আমাদের যারা স্টাফ আছেন ওনারা প্রফেশনালি এটা মেনটেন করতেছেন এবং ওইখানে একজন না একজনের সিগনেচারেও কিছু হবে না একজনের সিদ্ধান্তেও কিছু ওইখানে চেক অ্যান্ড ব্যালেন্স আছে এবং ওইখানে একটা চেক বা একটা পেমেন্ট পাস হইতে লক্ষ্য একজনের হাত দিয়ে ওইটা যাইতে হবে and the the, the trustees um, also review the expenditure as well so within senior management team we review uh, from our side and then we pass that information to the trustees as well okay so i'll find out thank you i'll find out more details from you inshallah in our next segment প্রিয় দর্শক মণ্ডলী সময় হচ্ছে একটি ছোট্ট বিজ্ঞাপন বৃত্তিতে যাওয়ার আমরা শুনেছি ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল আপডেট শুনেছি আমরা দেখেছি যে সেক্রেটারি সাহেব উনি ক্লিয়ারলি বলেছেন যে এভরিথিং ইজ ট্রান্সপারেন্ট আপনাদের যদি কোনো ধরনের প্রশ্ন থাকে কোনো ধরনের সন্দেহ থাকে বা কোনো ধরনের যদি এক্সট্রা এডিশনাল কিউরিজ থাকে আপনার প্লিজ ডু ফিউ ফিউ টু গেট ইন টাচ অ্যান্ড অলসো হিজ মেনশন অ্যাবাউট দ্য চ্যারিটি কমিশন এবং আমরা শুনেছি শেখের কাছ থেকে কত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ যে চ্যারিটি এবং ডোনেশনটাকে শুধু প্রজেক্টটি বিল্ড হয়ে গেছে ইটস নট ইনাফ উই নিড টু মেনটেন ইট উই নিড টু হেল্প টু ওয়েস্ট দ্যাট ডাইরেকশন আমরা শুনবো নতুন আরও কিছু ডিটেল ইনফরমেশন ফ্রম দ্য নিউ সি you and inshallah from the chairman do stay tuned with us we'll be right back after the short break wassalamu alaikum